Hey everyone, it's Michelle from Weekend Craft here. And today I'm gonna to show you how to recalibrate your printer and your Cricut. So we want these two to talk to each other. We want our cuts to be at the exact precise location as they are in Cricut Design Space. So here's just a couple of reasons that we should recalibrate our printer. One, if you're seeing any sort of shift in your design and where your Cricut is actually cutting. So let's say you have this beautiful sticker that you're cutting out with an even white border all around it and you're noticing that when it's cutting, it's shifting over, could be to the left, could be to the right, up, down, it's not in the right spot. So that's one reason that you should recalibrate. Another is when Cricut Design Space does some updates to the print then cut. So recently, and if you're in the beta mode, you may have seen um, that Cricut Design Space is allowing us to cut at larger sizes. So you can cut on 11 by 17. The eight and a half by 11 artboard has actually gotten bigger. So what that means is before we try this out, we want to recalibrate our printer. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. It sounds more intimidating than it actually is, but it will just take a few minutes and then you'll get precise cuts when you're doing your print then cut. Another reason is if you haven't done print then cut in a really long time, other than wasting some of that expensive printable vinyl, recalibrate beforehand on some printer paper just to make sure it's gonna cut in the right spot. So let's jump right in. I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how easy it is to recalibrate so you can have perfect cut lines. Okay, so we're going to the top left here and we're gonna click on calibration. Now, there are a few things if you're using your Maker 3 that you can calibrate. Now, your Explorer is just gonna give you the print then cut option, but the Maker 3 will give you the rotary blade, knife blade, and print then cut. So we're going to select print then cut and we are going to tell it to print. Now if you already have a calibration sheet printed you can select this. So it is printing our calibration sheet here. We have ours printed so we're going to select continue and we are going to place it on the top left corner of our mat. I have my light grip mat out and I am placing this in the top left corner. Make sure that it is lined up well. Now we're ready to place it in our machine. Now I'm selecting my Maker 3. And now we are going to load in our mat into our machine. So we're loading our mat in. And right now what this is going to do is it's gonna cut along each line. So then we'll know what is the most accurate. So we'll click our play button here. And once this is done, we're going to unload it and see what is the most accurate. So right now it's reading the registration marks and then it is going to make some cuts along some of the lines. And it's important that you don't want to unload your mat. You want to examine the line cut around the small square in the middle, which is this one here. So it is asking us if it cut inside so let's let's see i'm gonna see if you guys can see this the cut 
is the line here and it did cut inside and, and it isn't offset. So we passed the first initial assessment. Does the cut line touch the printed line all the way around? And it does, so we're gonna click yes and continue. So now it is going to cut each line on the paper and we are gonna do a fine calibration. With fine calibration, again, we're not gonna unload our mat and we're gonna look at the lines on the top and right side of the calibration sheets. So we're gonna select which line on the top and on the right is cut in the center. So let's check this out. We're looking at these lines here. So for me, it looks like number 11 is spot on. And I'm gonna say N. So we're gonna come over here and we're gonna select 11 and N. It's going to continue to do a cut. And then we are gonna look to see if we are satisfied with the cut. So we are looking at this box here. So it's very close to the center of the line. And I am actually very happy with this cut. On here, we are gonna say, yes, cut is close enough to the center. So just like that, our calibration is complete and we are ready to do a print then cut project. It was that easy.